it is saturday morning it's a little after 7 a.m and i just fed alice i just got her back down i think i'm gonna go to the gym this morning i don't usually really like do much early in the mornings on the weekends we like to like take things slow or sleep in a little bit but i had kind of a hard day yesterday and so i feel like just getting some me time for myself to like just start the day off will be really beneficial get out of the house move my body and hopefully come back ready and energetic for a fun day with the family let's go all right i got distracted a little bit um because grace woke up when i was getting ready and then she wanted to be with me um but steven is hanging with her now he's got all all the bases covered with the kids so uh it's 7 45 let's go to the gym i feel so uncomfortable pulling my camera out of the gym but i just finished my workout and i'm stretching over here in a little corner to myself so it feels okay workout was good um i did some running intervals on the treadmill today which is new for me i haven't officially started that couch to 5k training program that i'm gonna do i'm starting that next week but i've just been experimenting with like little running intervals to to see how i do and it's good like i i don't know running is intimidating but it does feel really good um did some weights and stuff and now i'm gonna stretch and then head into the showers they also have a steam room here it's like a eucalyptus steam room and that's honestly one of like my favorite parts about going to the gym like it really motivates me to come here and work out because so I'm like well yeah I'm gonna go work work out but then after that I get to sit in the steam room it's part of what gets me out of the door so I always like to do that afterwards when I have time a little treat to myself but all right good workout catch up with you later you want another one all right Grace and I got a uh, six Krispy Kreme donuts this morning. Um, we were outside painting for a while which is so funny painting she's so into that right now um, anyways so we got six Krispy Kreme donuts, sitting down, eating some, uh, I'm drinking some coffee. She's watching some TV, eating some donuts. She just finished half of her donut. So I'll probably give her another quarter or so. We're just relaxing. The lovely sound of suburban America on a nice Saturday. Someone's getting a giant palm tree cut down. So it's been pretty loud this morning, but Alice is still asleep. I don't even know what time it is, nine o'clock. And when Sierra's back, I'm gonna shower. And then actually, oof, fun update that I almost forgot to give. Um, today I'm going to go see that new Deadpool movie, which I'm very excited for. Um, it'll be nice. We're going to Sinopolis, so it'll be like, I can get lunch there. I'm excited. But that's a couple hours away. Um, and then, you know, right before then, uh, I think Sierra should be back. I'm gonna shower and get out to the movie. I'm coming, princess! Uh, guys, I gotta go. Be right back. Can I do the Fit Frappe? I got a protein coffee after my workout, and I've never had this. But it sounded good, so taste test. Oh. It's really bitter. On the first sip, I didn't like it, but I don't know. Now I'm getting a little bit more of the other flavors. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I think I maybe would have rather just gotten a smoothie there and then made coffee at home, but it's kind of growing on me. I'll definitely drink it. <laughs> um, I wanted to grab a coffee and do like a little car coffee chat. Since when there like is something that I want to talk on the vlog about more just like chill and chatty i feel like my car is the easiest and most like actually quiet uninterrupted spot for me to do that you know with two kids at home so i've got my coffee my weird protein coffee let me know uh whatever beverage you're currently drinking in the comments and we'll have a little coffee chat or coffee and whatever you're drinking chat <laughs> um something that was has been on my mind a lot and just that i feel like is such a you know one step forward two steps back kind of thing um is my struggle with mom guilt and i know that this is such a common experience for parents i, I don't think this is something that i'm alone in at all but it's like when when i'm away from the kids you know sometimes when i'm working but especially when i am doing something just for myself like taking time for me i feel so guilty and my brain just goes into these thought spirals of you're a terrible mom you shouldn't be doing this what are you doing go back home your kids need you this is selfish and like even just saying that out loud i'm like what a stupid like untrue thing to think you know if someone else told me another parent that they were taking some time for themselves i'd be like that's so great like of course you should do that but when it's myself i'm like but not you yes that's great for everyone to do except for you you're bad and 
it, it really can dominate my mindset and take away my enjoyment from that time that I do carve out for myself. And it's something that I, I've talked about in therapy and I feel like my therapist has really helped me with that to like acknowledge those thoughts, but then like talk through the conversation in my head on why that isn't true and I don't need to feel that way. And also like I'm already here, I should just enjoy it and I'm better off for it when I get home and I'm back with the kids and I'm energized and my cup is full and I'm excited to just pour into them and be present with them. And then attach that thought to a little balloon and let it go. I used to try to just like ignore it and shove it down and be like, that's dumb, don't think that. But um, surprise, surprise, that doesn't actually work. So it's helped me to just like confront that mom guilt and be like, okay, is this actually true? No, it's not, okay why not now let's let it go and move on because i think everyone deserves some time for themselves whether they're a parent or not and i should not exclude myself from that especially like doing things that are you know good for me and good for my health both physically and mentally like i when i started up therapy again after i had alice i felt guilty about taking time to go to therapy like that is something that's so important for me to do and so good for me to do good for my mental health and go you know going and moving my body is good for my physical health and having that time for myself and to connect with my body like those are things that I should feel good about doing and prioritizing and I am like such a better mom for it and I that's something I've been working on it's just like carving out time for myself especially for like self-improvement and then not shaming myself for it and I feel like Steven and I are really good at getting each other me time like going and doing this this morning I I don't feel guilty that I left him with the kids like they're all good at home Home. he's a parent too he's an excellent parent I just you know I start to feel guilty that I'm not also there with them with the kids but I think Steven and I balance it well like getting each other that me time especially on the weekends it's a lot easier because we both need that time to just step away for a minute recharge and we're really good at trading off on that but then also I feel like sometimes we get in too good of a groove with that of tapping in and tapping out especially you know adding in you know having to do stuff around the house or having to get time for work and then you know before we know it we feel like we're like relay racing with the kids doing too many trade-offs and then not actually having enough of that time for all four of us to be together as a family so it's a balance it's such a balance and something that we're kind of like you know always adjusting and figuring out as we go but right, right now what I'm really trying to work on is when I do step away and take time for myself just really enjoying it not shaming myself and then coming back uh, a better version of myself to be the the mom that I want to be with my kids that's my little coffee chat thoughts on mom guilt and where I'm at with that right now it is 10 15 so all that being said um I'm gonna head home we'll have a couple hours of time for all of us to be together and then uh this afternoon Steven is going to the movies with a friend so then I'll be solo with the kids and then um he said he's gonna do bedtime tonight for grace i'll do alice because she goes down to bed earlier and like i breastfeed her anyways so it makes more sense um but then i'll get some time to chill and read this evening which is another thing that i love to do for myself love it love it love it um i was listening to an audiobook about the dinosaurs while i was working out today it's really good i definitely recommend it got it on libby too so it was free i have an audible subscription but i only get one credit a month and with how much i've been reading this year i've been blowing through that faster so i've been getting audiobooks on libby when I can, which is like the free library app that I use that I constantly talk about in the vlogs. So you know what's up with Libby. Okay, back home I go. You built It's a Small World with Legos? You get a little excited when you hear that voice. Don't Hi, Alice. Oh, Alice just woke up, so I don't even have to pump. I can just feed her perfect timing. Okay, protein coffee from Earth Bar. Five out of 10, just meh. I, I have the factor like protein shakes that have caffeine in them that I like way more and they're cheaper. So How much was that? do you really want to know? <laughs> I mean, if it comes from a place named Earth Bar, I'm guessing $9. It was $9.95. <laughs> it was so expensive and it wasn't that good. Yeah. While I've been feeding Alice, Grace is pretending to be in the Olympics for gymnastics. I'm going to say presenting Grace. Presenting from the USA, competing her floor routine is Grace. Woohoo! And can she stick the landing? <gasps> she does it! The crowd goes wild! Gracie! 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 
Yes. And Daddy came to me. Crazy. Okay, Alice just went down for her nap. I got myself a little more ready, this cute little maxi skirt and did some skincare. And uh, we're about to make some lunch, but I just realized when I came over here to set up the camera, Steven got me a donut this morning and he told me and then I totally forgot. Um, yeah. You can have the one I had in the chocolate. Thank you, I think I'm gonna have the chocolate. That's not chocolate. Oh, maple bar? That is a maple bar. Even better. Mommy, yes. I, I tried a maple one uh -huh. and it was super good. Mm, you're right. That is super good. Um, Mommy, Steven, yes, let's Sophie? Go, let's go. Where do you want to go? You want to go to the mall already? Yeah. I think it's probably going to be another 45 minutes to an hour till we go to the mall. Yeah. What about your mac and cheese? Yeah, you got to eat your mac and cheese. I'm going to feed baby sis. We got to pack a bag. And that, But I promise we're going to have so much fun at the mall. While Steven goes to the movies, I am going to take the kids to the mall. It is really, really hot today, so that sounds like a good way to escape the heat. Hello, guys. This is my Gracie, this is my mommy, this is my donut. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. All right, we are getting ready to head out to the mall. I'm bringing this little camera. This is the V10. And Alice is coming too. Yes, I love Alice. I love Alice. I love Alice. Um, the last time I used this camera, the audio came out terribly because I had the settings messed up. I fixed the settings, so hopefully this is good. I double checked it. This camera's been really finicky since I got it, but when it works, it's great. And it's super easy and compact for taking on the go. So hopefully it looks okay. I sound okay. Anyways, to the mall. And then maybe Chuck E. Cheese. We might go there after the mall if everyone's doing well. Keep the, the good, fun summer weekend vibes going while Steven's at the movies. Yes, yeah, sweets. All right, you want to get her in the car seat and then we'll get going? No, she's going to stay with me last minute. Gosh, you guys are seriously such twins. over to the family lounge that they have here at the mall. So we're enjoying our Wetzel's pretzels here and then they have these little breastfeeding stalls. So in a minute, I'm gonna feed Alice and then she's gonna be ready to nap. So we're just gonna walk for a bit so she can fall asleep in the stroller. We'll maybe go to a couple more stores and then Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Chuck E. Cheese is somewhere that we used to maybe go like once every couple months. <laughs> Me too, I'm so excited. Um, but they were running this promotion that it was like their summer of fun pass where for like $45, you can literally go every day and get like, I think it's like $25 worth of credits for the games. So if you go twice, it literally pays for itself and it lasts for eight weeks. Um, and we got it like two weeks ago when we've already been twice. So I think we will definitely be getting our money's worth, but all right, enjoying our pretzels. And I gotta feed this baby. Mommy. Gracie, Gracie. <laughs> We're gonna go smell some candles. One of me and Grace's favorite pastimes. Three wick candles are $12.95. I'm gonna try that one, the yellow one. Ooh, that one's really fresh. That might be like a good kitchen scent. What do you think? You can pick whichever hand sanitizer you want. Okay, stroller nap was not working out. Alice was getting upset and then I got sweaty because I got stressed. But now she is in the carrier. She's chilling. She, she always loves the carrier. And she'll fall asleep in this in like a couple minutes. Like, so easy. Thank you. Good job. Wow. That was, um, I just got back home from the movie. It was so good. I, I don't think Sierra's seen any of the Deadpool movies. Um, or even Logan. And I really wish she would. They're really good movies. I think they're just too bloody for her. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to her about it. But it's like, oh, they're so fun. And Deadpool's just... You know, it's it's very it breaks the fourth wall for those who have not seen any of them. Um, and this one's really good. It's like it's also the first one since uh, Disney acquired Fox. Um, and there's a lot of good jokes, and I don't know why, but those definitely landed with me. Very fun movie, great way to have a great afternoon. Um, uh, Sierra and the girls are heading back right now, um, so I'm actually gonna get the camera down and get ready to go say hi to them. Um, yeah, I think tonight we're gonna have fun. Uh, we got some plans, and you know, also get tidy up here in a little bit. The kitchen's kind of struggling. <laughs> Um, so we'll see how the night goes, but yeah, movie was really fun. All 
right, it is a little before 6.30. We've been home for I think like an hour or so, just hanging out on the couch, catching up with Steven, telling him about our day and uh, hearing about his day, his movie. I don't know anything about Deadpool, but he said it was good. So if you've seen Deadpool, sound off in the comments. Um, but I am getting a little hour to myself here before we start the bedtime routine at 7.30. Um, so I'm gonna take a bath. I've got a bath bomb here. We went to Lush at the mall. Look at this. It smells so good. So I'm gonna use this and then I got a new candle too at Bath and Body Works. This is the Summer Rain scent. Oh, it smells so good. It's like really fresh and airy, right up my alley, but not something I've tried before. It says fragrance notes are chilled open air, fresh musk, and juniper berries. Poured myself a big ass cup of water. This is the like movie theater promotional cup that we got when we saw Star Wars Rise of Skywalker in theaters. And it's just gigantic. And I left my Stanley cup in the car. Too lazy to go get it, but I do want to drink a lot of water. So Star Wars cup. Um. So yeah, oh, also got my Kindle here to read a little bit in my bath relaxation time. I just started this new book. It's called First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. This was the pick for my family book club this month and I like just started it. I'm like 20 pages in, but I'm already so hooked. Like it's just one of those books that really grabs you from the beginning, which I really appreciate because I feel like when books take a while to get started or there's like a big exposition dump right at the beginning, it takes me a long time to get into it. And then I'm like really slow to start reaching for my phone to scroll instead of reaching for my Kindle when I have like moments to chill. And uh, this one, not the case, grabbed me right from the beginning. So I'm very excited to pick it back up. Probably gonna do some more reading later tonight after the kids go to bed. I don't know if it's something about like the Kindle screen, but I feel like it doesn't keep me awake at night. Like it doesn't stimulate my eyes in the same way that looking at my phone screen does before bed. So I really enjoy just reading before bed and like trying not to be on my phone right before bed. I do always listen to like a podcast or an audiobook when I'm falling asleep, but that's just like listening. I feel like it's looking at my phone that makes it so much harder for me to fall asleep after. Not my Kindle though. Don't know why. Is there science to it? Who knows? But uh, I'm rambling now. I'm already losing a couple minutes of my time here. So I'm going to run the bath, set up my bath tray with all my stuff and enjoy some time to rest and relax and also enjoy the fruits of my mall adventure. <laughs> This could be so much more aesthetic without the Star Wars cup, but you know what? That's real life and oh, this just looks amazing. I'm so, so excited. It's been a while since I've done this and this, oh, I'm just so excited. Feeling a little bit of that guilt, but I'm trying to shut it down and just really, really enjoy this as much as I can. I can hear Steven and the girls out there. Alice was so, so giggly this afternoon when we got home. Oh my gosh, so many giggles. And from the sound of it, they're having a great time out there, which like, I'm so glad that they're having such a great time. And I'm so glad that, you know, everything's going well out there. It's, it's not chaos, but then instead of the guilt, I've got the FOMO, so <laughs> there's that. But oh, this is a pretty, pretty bath bomb. Look at it. It's like green and blue and even a little bit of pink in there. Lush bath bombs are unmatched. All right, I'm getting in the bath. I'm gonna just try to really enjoy this, soak it all in. Pun not intended, but welcomed. <laughs> And then uh, enjoy the rest of my evening with the fam. Hopefully have a nice, easy, smooth bedtime and then go to bed early myself too because I'm feeling a little tired. But uh, yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.